it's fun to set up a bucket list of all the exciting things you want to accomplish before you die. Personally, I would like to travel overseas. However, life and health can get in the way. You also need to have a legal bucket list of documents that must be signed now before you become disabled or die. Here to explain what should be on that bucket list is my law partner, Mike Solomon. Hey Hello. there, Mike. So what is on the legal bucket list? Well, this isn't exciting, but the, the four uh, essential documents you need to address uh, health issues and end of life issues are your last will and testament, a financial, durable financial power of attorney, a health care power of attorney, and a living will. Those are four basic core documents. Okay, well, sounds like an important list. So let's look, talk about each of them starting with your last will and testament. Okay, well most people are familiar with that. That's the document that says where your assets, assets go, who inherits them, who's going to be your executor. It's very, very important. So, and your will handles your probate assets. And, and many times People try to avoid probate, which we encourage. So, you know, IRAs and other assets, you'll have beneficiary designations, but this controls the probate assets. And, it do, and so if you have an IRA, by the way, the beneficiary form controls where the assets go. So if your will says, my IRA goes to my daughter, but your IRA form says your assets go to your, your son, your assets are going to go to your son. Okay, so those things trump the will. Right. But if you're going to avoid probate, do you really even need a will? Uh, you always should have a will because if, number one, you may forget about something and then all of a sudden we have an asset without a will and it's much more cumbersome to do an estate without a will. It's, it's more, there's more paperwork, more expenses, so you should always have a will. Okay, so how about then a financial durable power of attorney? Okay, this is also a very crucial document. This document, you're giving someone the right to handle all your affairs for you. Uh, filing tax returns, selling your assets, investing your money with the idea that that'll be exercised if you're incapacitated either physically or mentally, though most powers of attorney are effective immediately. So, so once you sign it, the person can take steps. So you have to trust that person 125% because they can do you damage with that document. So be very careful who you give the document to and who you make your power of attorney. Okay, then there is the health care power of attorney and the living will, the last two documents. We kind of talk about those together, right? Right, they're usually in tandem. So the health care power of attorney is a power of attorney. You're giving someone the right to make medical decisions for you. Now there it's only if you're unconscious, obviously. And you give that person the right to do many things, not just, as people think, pulling the plug, not mm -hmm. removing life support only, but it's also maybe the doctor says there are three different types of procedures. Here are the pluses and minuses. Who makes the decision? Just because you're the spouse doesn't necessarily give you the right easily to make that decision. So this will make it easy for the spouse. And even more importantly, if you're not married, if you're a widow or widower, this is going to name the person. Your kids can't just come in and say, hey, we can exercise dad's rights. This gives dad, you know, names who dad has said. The right to say who he wants to make those That's decisions. Correct. All right. Good tips on those important documents. Take Mike's advice and make sure your legal bucket list is complete. For more information, use the number coming up next. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. On next week's show, older adults may find themselves unexpectedly addicted to alcohol. We'll explain the reason for this risk. Then your RMDs from your IRAs could cost you B-I-G. We'll spell out how to avoid expensive errors. And identity theft occurs all the time. We'll stress the steps to take, that you have to take to protect yourself. But until then, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love to hear from you. Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.